these. They're inexpensive, considering the wonderful camera locations that we have here at the 2010 Crew Classic. Event number 23, the Women's Collegiate Novice C, the third of three lane assignments, USC in lane one, St. Mary's in lane two, Loyola Marymount in lane three, Minnesota in lane four, UOP in lane five, and the University of California Santa Barbara is in lane six. And we are at the start, awaiting the third Attention. final heat. Go! And that's it, the starter has dropped her red flag and we do have a start of the third and final heat of the Women's <laughs> Collegiate Novice event. All boats have cleared the stake boats. Jumping out to an early two seat lead at the breakage at 100 is inside lane one, University of Southern California. They're rowing at 40 strokes per minute. We look to Loyola Marymount, Minnesota, and outside to the University of California, Santa Barbara. SC still in the first place over Loyola Marymount, Minnesota, and uh, the Gauchos outside. Across the 250 meter mark, University of Southern California, five seats up. And we look to uh, Loyola Marymount, Minnesota, and Santa Barbara level for the second place. Then inside the St. Mary's, which is uh, six seats down, and then back to University of the Pacific. In early command of this race, the Trojans, the University of Southern California, inside lane one, in their black resolute with their cardinal and scarlet. Scarlet, I guess it is. Then we look to Minnesota, Lola Marymount, Santa Barbara. Uh, first to the 500 is University of Southern California, followed by Minnesota closely with Santa Barbara and Lola Marymount. And then uh, one length back to St. Mary's, which is two lengths open water over the University of Pacific. So as we are through the 500, approaching the 700 meter mark, your leader and extending their lead is the University of Southern California in lane one. But what has established themselves in second place, the University of Minnesota is punched out to four seats over the Gauchos of Santa Barbara and Lola Marymount, then followed by St. Mary's and the University of Pacific. That's your call, USC in the lead. The Women's Collegiate Novice Sea, third of three in this particular category and event number 23 in your program. Looking at lane assignments once again in lane number one and our current leader, University of Southern California. In lane two, St. Mary's College. In lane three, Loyola Marymount. The University of Minnesota in lane number four, challenging for the lead. And the University of Pacific is in lane five. Lane six is occupied by the University of California, Santa Barbara. These last three heats with the novices and the novice races earlier, novices are just beginning their season, just learning how to race. And as the year goes on, these, are, these people will get better and better. And I'm, they're probably all hoping to be here next year in the JV, the lightweight, or the varsity boats. I certainly hope we see them. Only two will move forward out of this group to the grand final. And right now we have three crews kind of contesting for the top two spots. So that makes it interesting. University of Southern California is along the shoreline and they are currently hanging on to place number one, but all the way on the outside is Santa Barbara moving up and in the middle of the pack is Minnesota. So it looks like right at the moment anyway, it's USC, Santa Barbara, and Minnesota uh, contesting for the top two spots. 
Then we have open water uh, back to St. Mary's, Loyola, and trailing is UOP. Coming through our rather challenging part of the course right now with the buoy marker flag standing almost straight out is our group of University of Southern California uh, continuing to be on the lead on the far outside. Santa Barbara is refusing to go away and Minnesota is hanging in there as well. But it appears that those two have dropped back slightly, giving Southern Cal a little bit more of an edge. We have open water back to St. Mary's, Loyola, Marymount, and the University of Pacific is trailing. USC on the lead, Trojans on the shore side lane. They need to contend all the way on the outside with Santa Barbara and Minnesota appointing themselves well in the center of the field. Then back to Loyola Marymount, St. Mary's, and University of Pacific. Inside 500 meters to go, it's still USC. Minnesota and Santa Barbara having it out with Minnesota now slightly moving into the lead. Open water goes back to Loyola Marymount, St. Mary's, and trailing is UOP. Along the shoreline, University of Southern California, USC, moving along rather comfortably. Minnesota has slid into that second position, and we'll see if the Gauchos from Santa Barbara have enough to take that second spot back and get into the grand final. But right now, quite frankly, it looks like they're lagging just a bit, although it looks like uh, Minnesota got in some trouble there. Uh, saw a flat oar a couple of times on a couple of strokes, and we'll see if that's enough to throw them off. I don't know whether the rower lost track of his oar or what happened, but it was definitely a dead oar there for a moment. SC is still in the lead, but it apparently is not going to cost Minnesota, as on the outside, Santa Barbara was not able to respond to the challenge. They had the golden opportunity but we're unable to jump up on it, and it looks like Minnesota will hang on unless something radical happens, like occurred there where on two strokes, one oar was loose, and it looked like it got away. Uh, we'll take another look at that in a little bit, but right now, back to our leader, it is USC, the unofficial winner, uh, followed by Minnesota in that second spot, apparently untroubled by the problem that they had, and then Santa Barbara will finish an unofficial third position. Loyola Marymount will come in fourth, apparently, followed by St. Mary's in fifth position, and the University of Pacific will ratchet in in the final spot. And we'll see if we can go back and take a look at what's going on there and what happened to the crew from Minnesota as they stroke in closely there, watch closely on the near side there as the oar is uh, a lost in one of these strokes here and uh, it could have been a disaster. There it goes. Finally picked it up and uh, for some reason it didn't affect them quite as badly as it possibly could have. But uh, it's always a scary time when you wind up losing a handle there or, as they say, catching a crab and even getting launched out of the boat. But once again, in our third of three here, the unofficial result for the women's collegiate third heat in this group will be USC. And uh, coming in in second spot would be Minnesota, despite their near disaster there. And they will be joining UCLA, Sacramento State, Washington State, and Kansas State in the grand final. <laughs> Folks, we have an activity coming up for you. I'd like to point out the U.S. rowing tent in the vendor area today from 2 until 4 o'clock this afternoon. You'll have an opportunity to meet Olympic gold medalist Erin Caporo. Uh, you can challenge her to a 20-second erg piece or have her 
uh, give you a critique on your rowing technique. So if you feel like taking up the challenge, that will be from 2 until 4 o'clock this afternoon. See how you fare against an Olympic gold medalist at the U.S. rowing tent in the vendor area. And mentioning the vendor areas, we have some wonderful displays over there. If you are interested in the sport of rowing, which obviously you are by being out here today, uh, check out our vendors booths and see the wonderful and uh, highly technical items that they have available for you in that area. Also, we have DVDs available of every race. These DVDs are available about an hour after the race finishes, and you can check them out and order them in the vendor's tent or the souvenir tent, which is just to the right or the east side of the Jumbotron screen that is viewable in many areas throughout our race venue here. Uh, pick up a DVD. Uh, there's some excellent camera coverage and some outstanding commentary going on to be able to keep this as a souvenir for you and your loved one. The merchandising tent up on the Jumbotron giving you a view of where you need to go if you would choose to get one of the exciting DVDs that we have available, the 2010 San Diego Rowing Regatta, the Crew Classic. Event number 24, the men's Junior A will be coming up here shortly. Marin Rowing Association is in lane number one, Long Beach Junior Crew in lane two, Marina Aquatic Center in lane three, River City Rowing Club in lane four, Sarah High School 